but to give energy is like a water coming from a pipe. To give energy means that pipe must be open. Is your heart open? In a simple sense, a pipe, a hose, is that pipe small? Is it large? How much love can be given? How much can be received? Now you who know how to heal yourselves or where to find healing, hint, it is Google. <laughs> but you with people you can go to, communities you can go to, tools and techniques, individuals you can reach out to, you have resource. But even if it is just you, even if this is the last spiritual thing you take in, you know how to open your heart. The fear of trapped cortisol, samskara's emotional wounds, you know it can be released. You have faced it before. As you release your heart bigger and bigger, more of that can leave. It can leave faster. You will be more lighthearted and playful and dance and go back to playing music. We would almost materialize a flute, but that would be a distraction. But for those of you who can have that childlike play and joy and that passion and that fire and that intense energy you offer to others who could be inspired in turn and the gratitude that what flows back to you is a form of love in turn. That open heart is the bridge between the spirit and the earth. And afraid of vulnerability does not mean lack of caution, it must be noted. Being open with a grandmother, a grandson, a boss, a clerk, a server at a restaurant to food. These are different contexts. You generally wouldn't speak with a lover as you would a child or grandmother, at least not, not for certain obvious examples. The aspect of an open heart does not mean all of you is always being given and everything that comes is always being received and integrated. No, it is capacity. Your physical body has capacity to lift immense weight, but to a limited degree in this space time. And though you are an infinite being, the energies of ki, chi, prana, aura, love, all of the maps in your astral and etheric and bioelectric realms, they take on the analogies of capacity. The realm may be or seem infinite, but if 50 units of love would overwhelm you and you would cry and just and less than two a day would leave you feeling alone. Then perhaps 1,000 units of love couldn't get through that pipe. You couldn't see it, recognize it, feel it, believe it, have the capacity for it. And you would only notice the 12 you can sense. You could only give the 12 you could sense. If you're around angry people who have negative 20 love and you are positive 80, you can be around those beings, exude your love, if you're wide open and wide merging and a perfect example, your 80 would go to 60, making it linear and simpler, and you would still be full of love. You can experience and release sadness without losing love. And the key to having love in your life is by recognizing yourself as worthy. You must shift from an era avoiding the idea that you should not need to feel worth. There is this realm and schism of desire, of recognition, of self-confidence and esteem, of legitimate skill and ability, and of simple perception in the moment. All of these things are part of self-worth. And for you to feel worth you, the being you know you are, to clean the oceans, heal that person, heal yourself, experience the relationship. The law of attraction content of have the vibration before the thing comes in is capacity. If you have a basketball this, this big and a hoop this big, it will not go in. The hoop must be big for the basketball to go through. And as I say that, a dog is barking. So for you to have the capacity for the life you wish is a requirement for that life you wish to come in. 
you might notice as things, energy, money, love, people, opportunities, experience, joy, love, sadness, hate, fear, all of this comes in. At some point, you are full and then overwhelmed. Or you could never be overwhelmed by some, but most of our systems have this capacity. But we can raise that capacity for stress, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual. We can grow our abilities to do different work, different skills. So if you consider the capacity for divine consciousness to come in, means that level of openness. Now take this model to any chakra. For your message to be out, you must have a significant capacity for authenticity, for truth, for speaking, for communicating, and for receiving communication in turn. And you can apply this analogy to all of your maps of all of your traditions. So if you wish to give the value you feel inside, to banish what you call as evil, or at least organize it better, to take the fighting and the hatred and the anger and the destruction and shift the field of activity to love and creation and rebirth, consider the capacity of the system of destruction and the capacity of the system of creation. Consider their output. How many trees are being cut down a day? How many are being planted? Your left brain, this world with all of its magic and its grounded presence of now has the capacity to produce and create more than is destroyed. It is simply known. The actions to grow the capacity and the output are of course what is missing. Now whether those actions have not been started or have been sabotaged is moot. The concept of sabotage of dark forces, preventing, hurting, killing, destroying light forces, that is also a math equation. And the way you can deal with that in your own defense, the way you can stand and thrive and grow and protect is knowable. Decide to know it, learn it, find those who have done it. It is a skill. And for those scared of battle against darkness, let go of that story entirely. The mythologies of old, the patterns of human civilization in the last 2000 years may have rhythms in astrology and psychology. But that does not necessarily mean there must be a necessary expression in the same form. Those who wish to exude violence without an open heart and use the anger and fear they have and they enjoy having because it's addictive and fight and kill and destroy and dominate and hate and win over other. We are getting to an age where our video games are getting quite elaborate. Could those people be satisfied? Could those people feel not compromised in the least? Could those of us who wish to create and heal the planet, the culture, the civilization, the communities, our minds and bodies, our earth, our species, have more action in the material realm? While those who wish to experience the energies of destruction can feel what they choose to feel at their own free will, including choosing or not choosing to seek healing or change. And in their being honored, the option to be occupied and not destroy what they need to continue living as well, which they know is a possible win-win. The battle is not necessarily a battle of taking lives. It is not of the courage of having to cut off somebody's arm so it, the poisonous snake's venom does not get to her heart. No. The battle is within.